Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be talking about my Accutane experience. This is for anyone who's curious about Accutane, wants to go on Accutane, is currently on Accutane, or anyone who just wants to watch this video. So like I said, I will be talking about my experience, my reasoning for starting it, my background with like skin troubles, and all of that, pretty much everything about my whole experience I'll be talking about in this video. So it will probably be a very long video. So if you wanna grab a snack, something, sit down and relax, hopefully it will not be more than 20 minutes, but who knows because I tend to ramble a lot. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe so you can check out my other videos when I upload. And other than that, let's just hop right on into the video. Okay, so right now I am wearing absolutely no makeup on my face whatsoever. So this is my skin about a little over a month and a half post Accutane. Right now we're just going to look at my face in general. Um, so I have my phone because I'm just like looking in the camera so I can like see. But I do have a few dark spots. Um, I do have freckles on my face like I have um like two that I know are right here and this is obviously a freckle a lot of people think that's like chocolate I mean that's obviously like not a pimple related thing but like a lot of people throughout my whole life have thought that's chocolate but really it's just like a little mole freckle beauty mark thing whatever the heck it is um I have another freckle right here and then here and like two on my forehead I also occasionally think those are pimples, but then I realize that they're freckles. So I just wanted to point that out, that I do have freckles, like, all around my face. But, yeah, so, honestly, my skin, other than, there's, like, a little tiny one right up here. Um, other than that, it looks, like, I mean, not to, like, compliment myself, but it looks so good, and I am so happy about it. I'm actually gonna go put on makeup. And um, for like another video, I'm going to do a tutorial, film that, and then I will come back with a full face just because I like looking glam in videos. Um, so I'm going to come back with a full face and I will explain everything else like in full and the things that I think is important to know. So I will be right back. Okay, so I am now back. I have finished my face. It's actually like a lot later than I had intended it to be, but... I have notes here on my phone of things that I want to make sure that I mention, make sure I don't forget anything. So I think we should start from the very beginning. My face first started getting bad all the way back in fourth grade, which was crazy because like everyone else's skin was perfect. It was like pretty much only me. Like maybe there was like one other person, but like it was pretty much only me almost all through middle school. Like from fourth grade through seventh or eighth grade, it was pretty much like my skin was the worst out of everyone. And just for reference, right now I am in 11th grade. So fourth grade is seven years ago. Seven years ago was when I had my first pimple. And like, that in general is not bad like one here or there like I don't mind especially now after going through all of that like I don't mind one here or there because like by no means is my skin completely perfect now um I will still get some here or there like if I stop washing my face I'm sure my skin will break out again I try a product that really irritates my skin I'm sure my face will still break out like in, in fact it actually just did recently it was like the day of Thanksgiving I tried this one primer and my face freaked out um, I had a ginormous pimple right here and me being stupid I popped it and it, I had a giant red mark right there for like a week so, um, that actually postponed this video. I was going to film it the day after Thanksgiving, but then when I woke up and my skin looked awful, I was like, because mm, you can't really tell that my skin got better because the primer made it worse. Um, but now it's all back to normal, as you saw from the previous video without makeup on. But there are factors that like obviously can make you break out still like it, it doesn't make you invincible you just have to know how to take care of your skin after that and it will be fine essentially accutane is for 
those who take care of their skin and try to solve their breakout problem but what they're trying isn't working it's not just someone who like doesn't wash their face doesn't take care of their skin whatsoever and just like expects to do it and get their face to be clear so they never have to like wash their face like I guess that's kind of like a ridiculous statement to make like duh but Accutane isn't necessarily it shouldn't be really the first step that you take because I know there are a lot of people who try like proactive whatever and that worked perfectly fine for them and they're great and their skin's amazing but nothing worked for me literally nothing like a lot of the times it would make it a little bit better and then after three months of using it it would just completely stop working and what my dermatologist told me was that my skin got used to it like if you take an antibiotic for too long then your body gets used to the antibiotic and then the bacteria can fight it off and it doesn't help you not be sick and so basically the same thing was happening with my skincare products so that was really frustrating because I'd have to find something new every three months pretty much and my skin would get really bad and I'd have to deal with that and then I have to like semi cleared up because it didn't go away all the way but then every once in a while there would be like a good like two weeks where my skin would be like perfect and I was like oh like it's good now like everything's gonna be good and then it comes back like worse than it was before which was really frustrating and it was really hard for like your self-confidence like when I see other people and they don't have clear skin like it doesn't bother me I don't like look at them and like I'm not grossed out by them like there's nothing wrong with it it's completely normal and like it doesn't bother me when it's other people like I honestly half the time I don't even notice unless someone points it out but then when it was me it was like I was disgusted by it like every time I looked at the mirror and I saw it it was like I kind of cringe because like I hated seeing myself like that and I think it's because it's like when it's on you you think people notice it more and you don't like it on you but when it's other people it's like no one really notices that much but like you notice it more on yourself and you're harder on yourself because it's you which was probably like the worst thing about it for me was because I was so hard on myself about it and it bothered me so much when in reality a lot of people said they didn't really notice it but there were people who did make comments about it and said things like about how awful it looked or whatever and told me to wash my face as if I wasn't already doing that and I didn't already try like a gajillion dollars worth of skincare products so I guess that's kind of like the short version of my reasoning why I started it. I had even tried like other medications and nothing worked so honestly that was like the last like step for me was just like to do that and get it over with and a common misconception about Accutane is that there's a ton of side effects and like bad things can happen to you and it's not really safe and I thought that too until I actually talked to my dermatologist about it and he said that there's not like a lot of side effects that people usually get like for sure if you do it you will get dry skin and dry lips and that's like a for sure thing if you don't get that then that means it's not working at all but a lot of those scary side effects that you see online is basically just because something happened to someone while they were on Accutane maybe it was related somehow or maybe it wasn't but if they report it then it goes on the list of side effects permanently so it doesn't necessarily have to be related to whatever medicine they're taking if they have it happen to them then they say something about it then it goes on the side effects list even like if I said it's not related whatsoever so a lot of those side effects were either coincidences or it happened to like a few people but it doesn't happen very often and not a lot of people have like really bad experiences with Accutane mostly the worst part is the dry skin which I did have to deal with it actually cleared up my oil so much my skin is nowhere near as oily as it used to be even though um, it's worn off by now obviously like it's worn off but um, Accutane stays in your system for 30 days after you stop taking it so um, I was told that my skin would slowly get less dry over the next 30 days and by the end of the 30 days my skin should be like back to normal or not as dry as it was but my skin is not even as oily as it was which is so good and I'm so happy about that and also your your lips should take about two weeks to 
get back to their normal state before Accutane. So that is what happened to me as well and I'm really happy about that. So in terms of moisturizing, I recommend using the Vaseline Intensive Care Moisturizer because that worked really well for me. Um, I'll discuss this later on, but I got eczema as well because I'm eczema prone and I was a lot when I was little and my parents used to use the Vaseline Intensive Care on my eczema when I was really little and so my mom recommended trying that again this time when I had eczema and it worked and I actually use that now every time I get out of the shower I still moisturize like I mean you're supposed to but um I didn't really before Accutane which wasn't very good but um I'm still gonna continue using that because it's really nice and moisturizing and I really like it and in terms of lips, I use the Carmax, um, I think I have it here, no, it's like over there somewhere. Um, it is the Carmax Chapstick, and mine is in the cherry flavor because I think it tastes better than the regular flavor, but it literally saved my lips. Um, it literally works miracles. I don't know how they do it, but Carmax is like my favorite chapstick brand because it is so good and it always makes my lips not dry whenever I use it. So for in total, I did it for six months and that was actually a month longer than we anticipated in the first place, but I did not reach my target goal. Um, there is like a target amount. I'm not really sure exactly why then we would have anticipated for five months or why dermatologists would have anticipated for five months if like the target goal was like calculated, but like either way, um, I did six months and basically what Accutane is, it is a vitamin A derivative that dries up, um, I like, I mean, obviously I'm not a doctor, so I don't know exactly, exactly, but what I do know is it, like, dries up your pores, I guess, your pores or, like, the, the production of oils, which is why your skin gets so dry, and whatever the heck else it does, it clears up your skin. And no, you cannot take just vitamin A by yourself at home and expect the same results um, because one, it is dangerous. You should not take like an over, like a way too much amount of any vitamin or anything like that. But two, also it does not have the same effects because even though it will clear up your skin a little bit, as soon as you stop taking it, the effects will wear off completely. As with Accutane, since it is a vitamin A derivative, however they do it or however it is, it stays. Um, some people do have to go back after like a few years and I'm really hoping I don't have to do that but I would still be willing because the results were incredible for me and honestly like it pretty much never fails for anyone. Like if you go on Accutane your skin will be clear. Like that's pretty much like a given, like a promise. I mean obviously you can't promise anything but pretty close to it. Okay so now I'm going to kind of go through how my skin cleared up over the time that I was taking it. I was planning on doing like monthly mini check-ins and showing you my skin and how it looks but I forgot to do most of them so I just decided not to do any because I figured there was no point if I only had some and not others. So I ended up going back into old videos and I took screenshots from like when you could, when there was no makeup on. I mean, maybe I have eyeshadow, but like when I had no face makeup on. So I can reference that for whatever like time it is. And I will pop those up on the screen right here. But first I'm going to be talking about just like the overall how things went along the months. So first of all, within the first like two days of taking it, my lips got extremely dry. That was the first thing I noticed was how dry my lips were after literally two days of taking it. That was really frustrating for me. I don't like dry lips. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves is seeing people with dry lips. Like I don't know why it just bothers me so much. So when I had dry lips, it was like I was living my worst nightmare and what I like bothered me about other people. Um, but like I said, I used Carmex and that literally saved me. It was so good for my lips and made them look incredible even though they were kind of a little crusty and gross still because of the Accutane. 
but I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it will get worse before it gets better, which is also frustrating because your skin's already bad as it is, and you're already frustrated with it, and then it gets worse, and you're like, oh my god, this is supposed to fix it, and I make it worse. And I knew going into it that it would get worse before it got better, but when it actually does get worse before it gets better, it's just really frustrating seeing your skin get even worse than it was before you started this miracle drug that's supposed to fix your skin. So that was a little frustrating. But um, I'd say it was like month two is when I started getting like worse. And then month three, I started getting like these tiny bumps on my arm and I will pop a picture up here of like a picture I took of that. But eventually those bumps that I was getting all over my arms turned into eczema and it was really bad. It was like big patches of dry eczema spots. And like I said earlier too, um, I use the Vaseline Intensive Care Moisturizer. And I also got like a prescription lotion from the dermatologist and that helped a lot. But obviously like it's a prescription so like it's not like something you could go pick up unless you have a prescription for it. But that also helped me a lot too. So those two things came in handy a lot. And then by month four it started like chilling out a little bit and my skin was getting better. Um, I still like every couple weeks I would get like a few like decently sized pimples and then once they went away it was like my skin was good and it was just like a few here and there and then eventually by the end of month four my skin was pretty much clear um I didn't really have any more after that like I have I still get like tiny ones every once in a while like here and there depending on like if it's that time of the month or if like I said something irritates my skin like the primer did so that's like to be expected and honestly I really don't mind that because after like how bad my skin was little tiny ones are absolutely nothing like I can definitely handle that also another thing is it dries up oils everywhere and my hair I literally one time I went five days without washing it and there was not a single drop of grease on my hair. Like my hair wasn't like dry and like gross feeling. It felt like my normal hair, except it just felt like I had washed it every single day. Like it felt like freshly washed hair every single day, but it was like day five and there was no grease on it. And I honestly, I was amazed because like I didn't have to wash my hair and there was no grease whatsoever. Although I've noticed like since I've stopped it that I can't go five days without washing my hair now because it's still gets greasy faster although it's not as bad as it used to be it used to be like by the end of day one my hair would be greasy and gross it's just because my body overproduces oil or at least it like used to yeah so my hair now i can go like two or three days without it looking greasy which is still really good compared to how it used to be but yeah so one time i went five days without washing my hair and there was a single drop of grease on it which is amazing okay so now i'm gonna show you the pictures of like, my like progress and a lot of the times when I do videos, when I like record them, it doesn't go up for a little bit until like a while later. So I wrote down the date that I recorded the video and the date that I posted it. So you can kind of see like, although it was posted that day, it was when it was really recorded. So you could see how my skin was on that day when it was recorded. And also I will leave a link to every single video that I mention down below in the description and you can go check them out if you want to. Um, so I'm just gonna like scooch over here so I can put the pictures right there and it doesn't like block my face. Okay, so like I said before about how my skin would sometimes get like really good for like a really short amount of time before it got really bad again. So an example of this, um, well you can see on March 16th I posted a look. It's like a warm toned halo eye. Um, when I tag or when I link all the videos down below in the description, I'll have like the dates I made them so you can see there. But it was like really bad on my cheeks and my forehead. And this is free Accutane. On March 20th, I did that pink glossy look. And you can see that there is a lot around pretty much my whole face, but there's a lot on my forehead, specifically some right here too. And right here, like this area of my cheeks on both sides you can see it and it looks pretty bad but that is not the worst to come and then on April 3rd I did that prom look and I have some pretty bad patches on my cheeks 
and on my forehead as you can see and that was I believe it was like a day or two before I started taking Accutane so this is like the last picture that we're gonna see that is pre Accutane on April 12th I filmed a red halo eye look which I ended up posting on April 28th but you can see in the picture that I have some bad spots on my forehead well I mean there's a lot of bad spots on my forehead but in particular there's one really bad one that's like right here as you can see and then my cheek is covered um you can't see the other cheek but I'm assuming well I mean you, if you can see in the video like when I move my face back and forth but I'm assuming that cheek is pretty covered too. This is just a few days after I started so it's it hasn't started getting worse yet but it will soon. On May 18th I did that peachy glitter cut crease and I posted it on May 30th and you can see that my face is just like pretty much completely covered but yeah like I said you can see side of my face, my forehead, my cheeks, they're all really really bad and this is when it started getting bad, like worse than it was before. On May 28th I did a look that I called a like fiery look and I actually ended up posting it on the 4th of July and that is like a big difference. And once again my face is really bad. It looks mildly better than it did um, in the previous videos from a few days before that I recorded, but still really bad. Um, at this point it was kind of like improving a little bit, but then getting back to being worse than it was before I started Accutane. So it was kind of like on and off a little bit better and then back to being really bad. But during this point it was never like clear whatsoever. Then on June 22nd, I did a sunset look, which I ended up posting on July 22nd. And this is actually the last tutorial that I made um, before my skin was clear. Because at this point, my skin was so dry. It literally burned when I put on makeup. I actually had a three-day makeup class that I was going to go to, but I had to cancel a couple days before because I literally could not put makeup on my face. And it was so bad because my skin was bad and I didn't want to go out in public looking like that but I couldn't do my usual foundation to cover it up because like I said it was so bad um so I had to just dot tart shape tape concealer over the spots and luckily that concealer is pretty full coverage but it burned so bad even just doing like a spot correcting and it was honestly horrible I was just like honestly miserable that was probably the worst of it other than the eczema, all of the eczema, like I've been through that before, that was easy to like figure out and fix. Um, it did look really bad as you can see from the picture of like the bumps that happened before the eczema. That actually really scared me. I thought I was like having an allergic reaction or something, but it was just like bumps that turned into eczema. And the same thing happened to my face when I had to take a break from makeup. I got a bunch of little bumps. They were nowhere near the size that were on my arm. But I can tell that they were like the same thing. I got a ton of little bumps all over my face and it wasn't pimples, it was like those same bumps. And then shortly after, just like how it happened with my arm, they turned into eczema patches and so I had to apply the prescription cream and I had been using the Vaseline Intensive Care so the combination of the both definitely helped clear that up. But my face was like, it felt so stiff and like hard to move like when I smiled it felt like my cheeks were like I don't know it was just that was probably like the worst now because it burned so bad and I couldn't do makeup for such a long time um like I have no tutorials from there up until um vacation I went on a cruise and you can check out the vlog I will leave that link down below because I'm also inserting a um, picture from that vlog but during the intro you can see that I have a couple spots on my cheeks and a couple on my forehead right above my eyebrow but that was like pretty much it and that was pretty good um, by the end of the cruise actually I'm not sure if it was maybe like I think maybe it was like the sun and the salt water my skin was completely clear and I was so happy like I can't even tell you my skin looks so good the last day of that trip 
because by then my face had stopped burning when I put makeup on. So I wore makeup especially since I did not want to have to put sunscreen on my face because I was afraid that would break me out even more or like break me out again. Um, so I wore my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation because one, it's waterproof. I literally went underwater and everything looked perfect. Like I had just applied it, which is incredible, but also it has SPF in it. And so I figured that was better than putting on sunscreen like itself and then risking my face breaking out. But the last day, um, since we just like woke up, got on the plane and came home, I would have probably worn makeup for that just because my face looked bad, but it didn't look bad, so I didn't wear makeup. Like, I didn't even have to worry about putting on foundation to cover up all of my bad spots on my face, and it was probably one of the best feelings ever because that was, like, the first time in so long that I really, like, felt proud about my skin, and, like, from being there, like, on the ship and in the Bahamas, my skin was like glowing so on top of the fact that it was clear it was like glowing and looked so good and I was so happy about it so that was definitely like the turning point I did have like a few more just like little ones that would pop up and me being me always thinks it's a good idea to try and pop it and then it leaves a mark which is also another problem I like can't stop doing that I don't know, I tell myself not to, but I'm like, oh, like, it'll go away, like, I can get it, and then I don't get it, or, like, my nail slips, and then I literally slice half my forehead off. So, that is a problem, but, but, like, right after that cruise, it was pretty much smooth sailing from there, no pun intended. Um, my skin looked better than it had in forever, and that is, like, when my skin got to this state of clear, which like I said, I'm so happy about and I'm so, so, so just excited. I don't know, like, I don't even know what I'm excited for, just like excited about my clear skin, excited that I can feel like a million times more comfortable filming videos where I don't have makeup on. Um, eventually I kind of got used to it. It was just like, well, it's just like, things that happen not everyone has the best skin and I kind of got used to it but it was still like I would watch other people's videos and they'd have clear skin and I was like wish my skin looks like that especially for videos but now thankfully it is so my camera battery is blinking red at me right now telling me that I need to hurry up because I feel like I've been talking for like centuries but that is my Accutane story journey whatever my journey to clear my face um if you would like me to do a skincare routine for how I do it now um I can always do that although I, right now I'm trying to figure out new products to switch out in my routine because like I said my skin has changed a little bit in terms of like dry oily like it's like in the middle now so I need to find products that are good for both of that when I get that figured out when I have a set skincare routine that I do all the time then I will definitely do a video about my skincare routine and all of that fun stuff but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it was educational in some way or helped someone who maybe wants to do Accutane or just someone who's curious or anything like that but like I said thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one bye